Welcome to the second set of uh, a present of uh, the of uh, presentations on age word problems. Uh, I already have one typed out here. Let's let's see what it says. It says Salman, oh, that's me, is 108 years old, and so this is clearly at some vast time in the future. Um, and and this will only happen if if my caloric restriction works out. But Salman is 108 years old. Jonathan is 24 years old. How many years will it take? for Salman to be exactly four times as old as Jonathan. Well, let's figure this one out. Well, what we're trying to solve for is how many years will it take. So let's use the variable y for years. So y equals years until, let's just say Sal for short. Sal is four times Jonathan's age. Okay. Well, if today I or, or Sal is is a if if Salman, it's hard to speak in the third person. If Salman is a hundred years old today, in Y years Salman will be a hundred and eight plus Y is equal to Sal in Y years. I'm saying Y years, no Y. Sal in Y years is going to be 108 plus y. And then Jonathan in y years, that's pretty easy. He's going to be 24 plus y. So that's, I'll say John for short, in y years, not ears. Y years. And what else does the problem say? It says, in how many years will it take for Salman to be exactly, let me put that in another color for emphasis, exactly four times as old as Jonathan. Well, and the exactly is important because Salman is already more than four times as old as Jonathan, but they want to figure out exactly when is he going to is Salman going to be four times as old as Jonathan. Well, in y years, Salman is going to be 108 plus y. So we know that 108 plus y and after y years, he's going to be four times as old as Jonathan, exactly four times. And Jonathan's going to be 24 plus y years old. And now we just solve the equation. We get 108 plus y is equal to 4 times 24. Well, 4 times 25 is 100, and then we can subtract 4 from there. So it's 96 plus 4y. And now we just solve this equation. We get. Three, three. I'm gonna skip some steps because I think these this part is easy for you. Three y will equal 108 minus 96. So we get three y is equal to what is that? 12, right? Yeah. So y is equal to four. So our algebra has told us that in four years. Salman is going to be exactly four times as old as Jonathan. Let's see if that's true. Well, if Salman is 108 right now in four years, he's going to be 112. And if Jonathan is 24 right now in four years, he's going to be 28. And let's see, 28 times 4 is 80 plus 32. Yep, exactly. It'll be 112. So it looks like that problem worked. Excellent. Let's do another one. Hope you didn't hear that. That was my stomach growling. See how hard I work on this site? I don't even eat properly. OK, let's do another problem. And I'll type it in green this time. Darush is five times as old as Arman is today. 85 years ago, we're, we're dealing with huge swaths of time. 85 years ago, the Rush was 10 times as old as Arman. How old is Arman today? Let's see if we can tackle this. this is a quite interesting problem, I think settings, put the pen tool on. OK. Well, I think this might be useful to do one of those charts like we did in the, in the first uh, video presentation. 
Well, we're trying to solve for how old is Armand today. So let's say Armand. And we're going to have today. And we're going to have, what's the other time period we're dealing with? We're dealing with 85 years ago. So let's say 85 years ago. The galaxy far, far away. OK, Armand and Darush. Well, we're trying to solve for how old is Armand today. So let's just make that x for simplicity. It says, Darush is five times as old as Armand today. So let me underline that. Darush is five times as old as Armand today. Well, if Armand is x, well, that tells us that Darush is going to be 5x. 85 years ago, so 85 years ago, well, if Armand is x today, then 85 years ago, Armand would have been x minus 85. And if Therush is 5x today, then Therush would be 5x minus 85. I just subtracted 5x from the current. I just subtracted 85 from the current age, because we're going 85 years into the past. And now we have this extra piece of information, which tells us that 85 years ago, Therush was 10 times as old as Arman. So this number is going to be 10 times more then this number, that's what that sentence tells us. 85 years ago, we're in this situation. Darush, which is this, was 10 times older than Arman. So we just write that out algebraically. 85 years ago, Darush is 5x minus 85. And the sentence tells us that he was 10 times older than Arman, who was x minus 85. Now we just solve the equation. You get 5x minus 85 is equal to 10x minus 850. And then you get, and I'm going to do this, skip some steps just to confuse you. 5x is equal to, well, how would, I think I just confused myself. 5x is equal to 850 minus 85. Let's see, what's 850 minus 85? Well, it'd be 35 less than 800. So we could say that 5x, 35 less than 800. 30 less than 800 is 770, so it'd be 765. And then x is equal to, let me see, 5 goes into 70, 1 time, 1 times 5, 26, 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25, 15. So x is equal to 153. Well, we have some long lifespan people. So we get the solution that Armand is 153 years old today. Let's see if that makes sense. Well, if he's 153, then, no, 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 that can't be right. Because then he's 5. Huh. Actually, I'm almost out of time. Let me see where I might have messed up on this. If Arman is x, Darush is 5x. That makes sense. Oh, right, right, right. I think this could make sense. So if I just I thought that Arman had to be, that Darush had to be younger than Arman, but no, Darush is five times 153. So Darush is actually 765 years old. We should call him Methuselah. So Darush is 765 years old. And then if we go 85 years into the past, Tharush would have been, what did we say? If, if we go 85 years into the past, so let's write this down. This is 